your survey is proving that people are really spending a good chunk of change. Mm -hmm. Carla, could you share with us some tips how to budget for prom, how to not overspend, how to keep in line? Because sure. I know there's other teens out there watching that could benefit from this. I think all of you said the word budget when you were talking about what you wanted to spend, and that is like music to my ears because you're actually <laughs> thinking about what you're going to spend beforehand, and I think that that's a really smart thing to do because otherwise you just go out and you start buying things, and, and then all of a sudden you've spent way more than you would have wanted to. Um, in terms of saving money, I think it's, it is a special occasion, right? Like nobody's saying that you can't make it a special occasion. And maybe there's one thing that you really want to focus on, whether that's your dress, whether that's taking a limo with all your friends, whether that's some sort of after party, whatever it is, focus on that, invest in that, and then find ways to cut costs on other stuff. So if it's the dress and you've budgeted $100, like you said, for your dress, but there's one that's 175 that is like the dress of your dreams, <laughs> then go for it and borrow shoes or shoes you already have or and don't get your hair done and borrow accessories and borrow all the other stuff so your whole budget that you would have spent on everything is focusing on that one item that's making you feel like a prom queen whether or not you get elected. <laughs>